Hi folks, Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Today uh, we, uh, we just got in our 2017 Newmar Canyon Star. This is a 3953 model. So uh, it literally just rolled on the lot today. I was out fueling it up. I thought, why not? Let's do a quick video. So um, as you can see, just like all the Canyon Stars were full body paint with the nice protective shield on the front. Good look there. Um, and, and again, like all Canyon Stars, we're built on the 22 and a half inch tires all the way around because these are heavy chassis. This is actually a 26,000 pound chassis. So um, you get with that not only beefier brakes, beefier suspension, but bigger wheels and tires and, and really a diesel like ride in this. This is as close as you can get to a diesel platform without it truly being a diesel. So um, there you go. We'll take a look at some of the storage as we go around. You can see that's fully carpeted, insulated compartment there. And we'll just kind of go down the line. There's our fresh water tank. There's some storage. And some more. And some more. And that's all one long compartment. Those are open through there. So if you had longer items, they, they can definitely fit through there. Okay. We've got electrical outlets out here as well. So if you need to hook anything up, you can. Oh, we do have an exterior TV in this one as well. And I think that's unlocked. That's good. There we go. So you see you have a nice Sony television, little AM FM CD stereo down here as well, outdoor speakers. And this is just so clean, well insulated, protected. That's sharp. All right, let's see what, uh, what we have back further. 39 footer, you get lots of compartment doors. Okay. More storage. That's a pass through, that's what I was looking for. Our generator is running, but it's very, very quiet. So even though the, um, the, the generator's on, I don't have to yell and shout over it like you do on a lot of them. That's uh, uh, hat, hat, hats off to Onan for making a nice, quiet generator and Numar for making a well-insulated coach. So I don't have to scream and yell even though the generator's running. I love this mirrored cap that they use. Again, this is kind of gives it that very diesel-like look and feel. I just think that looks sharp as can be on their big one-piece molded cap to have the reflection. This is a 50, out, 50 amp coach, obviously. We have a shore, our shore power cord is in here, and our knife valves are up here enclosed in the insulated area. They're not hanging down below the coach, so that's nice. All of these compartments are lit as well. There's our generator, it is the 7000 model. Most coaches like this would have a 5500 watt in it. We optioned it up to the 7000. Um, so it's nice and quiet generator and more power than we'll ever need. There's our other pass through. Here's where we put our fuel in. This is where we store our sewer hose so it's not in the other compartments. It gets its own little compartment down there. Here's our wet bay. Now we'll take a good look here. In our wet bay, we have hot and cold water. We have a black tank flush. This is a heated compartment. Anytime your furnace is running, this area is getting heat in here as well. Whole house water filtration system. Everything's neat, well lit, easy to get to. There's a light in here. You can't really see that, but take my word for it. Um, probeless tank monitors, which are more accurate and less likely to leak. Oh, this is a pretty nice coach. You can see how easy they made it to get to your dirt devil. So that means, number one, we have a central vac in this coach. Number two, it's easy to get to to clean out the bag. That little hose you see laying there, that's your winterization hose. They made that nice and easy to get to as well. Moving on. More storage. More storage. Central vac tools and a pull-out battery tray on a gas coach. That's truly kind of a rare thing. Um, pull-out battery trays on a $300,000, $400,000 diesel, that's something you would expect. On a gas coach, it's absolutely not something you would expect. So um, not too many of those out there. I'll tell you what, we've got side cameras. We've got beautiful paint. We've got a wonderful one-piece windshield. Everything is frameless windows all the way down the side of the coach. Slide toppers everywhere. Beautiful chrome all the way around, even on the front grill here. That's nice. I want to get a shot of that. But I know what people really want to see is the inside of this coach. So uh, let's go check it out. Hi, folks. Chris Anderson with Mount Comfort RV. Uh, we've looked around the outside. 
let's take a look around the inside. Please don't forget one thing. When you have questions, when you come in to see this coach, please ask for me. I would greatly appreciate it. So if you enjoy the video, please do. Um, let's look around. Up in the cockpit area, we'll get uh, the camera up there so we can look around. Everything is very centrally located. It is kind of a cockpit, the way everything kind of wraps around the pilot or driver as, as you may. Um, from, our, from our leveling system being over here to the left, two cup holders, our controls for headlights, turn signals are very, this is very automotive when it comes to the, the, the gear shift and the, and the turn signals and, and all of that. It, it's got a very comfortable feel to it, much more like a car than, than when you jump in one of these big diesel pushers. And then over here we have three cameras on the, on the screen on the left that, that are your backup camera and your two side cameras. Your screen on the right is actually your touchscreen radio system with Bluetooth and all the goodies in there. Generator controls and you can even pipe your iPod navigation system into that if you want to. The passenger has a really nice table here. Let me get to where I can pull this up. This stands up, this pulls out just like that. So that's sharp. And all kinds of plug-ins over here for USB, 110, 12 volt, whatever type of hookups you need, they're over there on the wall. So whether you want to charge your tablet, plug your laptop in, whatever, it's there. So lots of goodies there. Now we have a high to bed sofa on this side and we did the, uh, um, the freestanding dinette here with the uh, uh, computer table. Um, we have Corian all over the place in this coach. This has a leaf that goes in here as well. That leaf is stored back in the closet. And you've got the little plastic plug back there in the corner where you could actually run lines for a printer down and your printer would go down in this cabinet down here. And there's 110 outlet down there as well. So that's how uh, they call this the combination computer desk with the freestanding ta table and chairs. There's also two extra chairs that are folding chairs that are upholstered to match and they're back under the bed. We have a nice freestanding recliner here. If you notice the window shades throughout this coach, they're the MCD shades. Um, you can either have them kind of set to black out like we do here, or kind of set for a daytime feature, which is just a screen, which is what you see over the kitchen window. By the way, we optioned in the kitchen window. So there's another, another feature. You see all the quarry on here and a wonderful new backsplash for 2017. Stainless steel double bowl sink with a pull-out sprayer. Okay, tons of cabinet space above and below. Whether you've got skinny items, pots and pans, look at it underneath there, that's huge. That's a big pots and pans area. This is split with adjustable shelves here. 30 inch residential convection microwave and a three burner cooktop all undermounted. So makes it nice and look at our residential refrigerator. I don't think too many people are going to miss the old Norcolds and Dometics, but these are, those are going away. This is, the, uh, this is the way of the future here. Nice LED lighting inside, freezer below, water in the door. That is the way of the future. With the, with the improvement of inverters and battery technology, you just really don't need the propane-based systems anymore. So, um, I'll even look at that storage up above for cookie sheets or something skinny. All right. Beautiful TV mounted here in the center. This does have a home theater system mounted up over the driver's seat as well. Storage above and below. Um, and this is a, a beautiful new floor for this year. Well, let's make sure we get a shot of that. It was one of the first things I noticed when I came in. This is a laminate floor, but it just looks outstanding. Okay. Come on back, we'll show you the rest of the coach. This is a bath and a half model, so here's our half bath. We can't both make it in there, so I'm just going to let the cameraman in. Again, all trimmed out in Corian, tons and tons of storage. It's actually a nice size little half bath. A lot of these you're really crammed in on the half bath. That one, eh, not so much. Look at the pantry. And that's deep. Okay. Washer dryer closet, all prepped for a washer dryer if you want one. Um, but also dual hanging, so you got above and below hanging. Just so if you want a washer dryer, it's a problem I can fix in about two hours. Come back here, we got a big old bed back here. This is the king size edition. Padded headboard, this is a sleep number bed as well. So um, I know a lot of people know, know about those or have them already and they are wonderful. Good bedroom storage as well. 
six large drawers in here, and those are deep. And then we get to the main bathroom. Again, wonderful size. This is one we can both fit in. Neo-angle shower here in the corner. More storage back here. And this is a big closet. Let me see if I can. There's the leaf for the table and there's shelves back there. Try to get the camera in there, make sure we get all that. Okay. And then look at the size of the two drawers beneath this cabinet. Those are huge and there's two of them. So storage is not a problem on this coach. Okay, there's your nickel tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV. Please ask for me. Please come in and see me. Call me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Okay, there's your nickel tour. Um, if you want an even more in-depth tour, tool, tour, tour, um, I would be glad to help you out with that. Um, and we'll cut to the whole video too. I'll be glad to help you out with that. We're gonna take a, oh, we'll cut that. Start over.